हेलो एंड वेलकम योर वाचिंग वन इंडिया न्यूज यूट्यूब चैनल आम गुलाब इंडिया बैट्समैन युवराज सिंह वाज नॉट सिलेक्टेड फॉर द फाइव मैच वन डे इंटरनेशनल सीरीज एंड वन ऑफ टी ट्वेंटी अगेंस्ट श्रीलंका द इंडियन टीम करेंटली कंसिडर्ड एज वन ऑफ द फिटेस्ट इंटरनेशनल टीम्स अराउंड द ग्लोब गोज थ्रू अ सीरीज ऑफ फिटनेस ड्रिल्स आउट ऑफ विच द यो यो इंडियोरेंस टेस्ट इज कंसिडर्ड वन ऑफ द मेजर पैरामीटर्स टू जज अ प्लेयर्स फिटनेस युवराज सिंह एंड सुरेश रैना फेल टू क्लियर द टेस्ट दैट लेट टू देयर आउस्टर फ्रॉम द वन डे स्कॉड द फेलियर टू क्लियर द यो यो इंडियोरेंस टेस्ट एट द नेशनल क्रिकेट अकेडमी वॉज द प्राइमरी रीजन वाई बोथ द प्लेयर्स वर नॉट कंसिडर्ड फॉर द श्रीलंका लिमिटेड ओवर सीरीज The Yo-Yo Endurance Test is an advanced version of the beep test that was used by teams of earlier generations. The current Indian team is considered to be the fittest by a fair distance. It has been learned that for the current Indian team, the acceptable Yo-Yo score is 19.5 and upwards. Captain Virat Kohli easily the fittest Indian cricketer scores around 21 in the test. However, both Yuvraj and Rena have scored well below the permissible level of 19.5 with Yuvraj barely managing to touch 16 which was the biggest reason for his ouster. The current team think tank coach Ravi Shastri skipper Virat Kohli and chairman of selectors MS K Prasad have made it clear that fitness standards are non-negotiable. On an average, the Australian cricketer scored 21 in yo-yo test. Here Virat Ravindra Jadeja Manish Pandey regularly hit that score while others are either touching 19.5 or is hitting above that score a BCCI official who cannot come on record said In an earlier era when the traditional beep test was in vogue the Indian players of the 1990s would have scored around 16 to 16.5 barring a few like Mohammad Azruddin Robin Singh or Ajay Jadeja but now it's different as the skipper himself is hitting the benchmark which the australian cricket team sets it the official added just for understanding how the yo yo test works cones are placed to mark out two lines 20 meters apart a player starts with his foot behind one of the lines and begins running when instructed the player continues running between the two lines turning when signaled by the recorded beeps after each minute or so the pace gets quicker if the line is not reached in time the player must run to the line turn and try to catch up with the pace with two more beeps the test is stopped if the player fails to catch up with the pace within the two ends the entire process is software based where the results are recorded it must be noted that the same test for football and hockey team will produce entirely different results and have higher benchmarks considering the speed and endurance level involved with the sport well that's all in this video for now for more latest news and videos don't forget to subscribe to one india news youtube channel